Hello guys, this is Dennis and today I want to talk about um, the difference between authenticity and confidence in everyday situations, but especially in like social situations where you have to talk to people. For example, when you're for example in sales calls like I am usually often in sales calls or in when you talk to a girl also, this also applies. So yeah, this is what I want to talk about today. But at first I want to start with a story. So um, a couple of days ago, I think almost one week ago, one week ago I had a sales call and I was feeling not good, like not good in my body. Sometimes you have this where you feel ten tense or simply not relaxed, not confident, whatever, right? You don't feel good in your body. And I had the belief, okay, um, this is a situation that counts. I want to close the deal. I want to, yes, win him as a customer. But I was not feeling good. But I had the belief, okay, I have to be super confident in this call, super on point, super, yeah, extroverted to, in order to sell well, in order to make the pitch sound good, etc., etc. But the thing is, I, I simply, in that moment in time, I wasn't feeling good. I was not confident in that moment. Like, not as confident as I am when I am, for example, relaxed and chill and when I feel good. Uh, not as charismatic when, as when I feel good. So I wasn't feeling good and I th thought about, okay, how do I do this now? So I decided, okay, right now I don't feel confident. And the thing is with confidence, if I don't feel confident in that moment, I, can, I can't, even if I want, I cannot fake it. I can't force it. I can't force to be confident if I'm not in that moment. But what I can do and what I can control is how authentic I am. That's the thing I realized. So I can be like, if I say, if there's a scale from one to 10 or one to 100 maybe, in social situations, it would be good, it would be great if I'm 10 out of 10 confident, because usually confidence, extroverted people, or charismatic people, 10 out of 10 um, confidence, attracts people, right? They, they like it, they think it's positive usually, right? So it's good in social situations, but also authenticity is the other thing that is also very, very positive in social situations. The thing is, of course it would be better to be 10 out of 10 confident and 10 out of 10 authentic, but the thing is with confidence, you can't fake it and you can't sometimes can be 10 out of 10 confident. But again, what you can control is doing 10 out of 10 authentic. If you don't feel good, sometimes in a social situation, you can address it. Hey, for example, in a sales call, in a sales call, you could, for example, address it and say at the beginning, if you're feeling bad, hey, I haven't had a good day, but I uh, still try to find out the best solution for you possibly. And just address it and people are drawn to authenticity and people, people love it because the worst thing I could have done is just to um, reduce also the authenticity to a low level and fake the, the, the uh, confidence because I couldn't fake it. This would be just would lead to weird situations. So, so I had the realizations, okay, in that moment in time, um, if I'm not confident, I, I cannot be more than I am right now. So I just not be authentic. I can't have more energy or more confidence than I have right now in this moment in time. So I try to change it. So I try to fake it and being inauthentic. So yeah, this was, this is the key learning that I wanted to share here. The best is, okay, 10 out of 10 confident, 10 out of 10 authentic. authentic. Um, but if you are not authentic, don't fake it. Fo if you're not confident, don't fake it. Focus on the authenticity. And this also draws people in. And then I would also recommend you to try to gather experience and gather um, feedback from the world and see that you don't have to be 10 out of 10 confident or you don't have to be 10 out of 10 authentic and confident in this combination to ha have results. This was also what I learned. Like I, I had to say it's cold and I said, okay, I can't control it. Uh, I can't uh, fake the confidence. I can focus on the authentic authenticity and I will be 100% authentic. And it was a low, more low energy call. And at the end, it still worked. I, I still closed the deal even though I wasn't super confident, super outgoing, etc. And I, I gathered the feedback, okay, it's still working. I don't have to be super confident. Of course, it would be great, but I don't have to be. As long as I'm authentic, it still works. And I also realized for myself, okay, the person that told me, okay, you have to be super confident in order to close a deal. Also, maybe you have to be super confident to talk to a woman or make a woman interested in you. The only person who said this was myself. Um, I told this to myself because I haven't gathered other feedback that then created a new reality for myself. And the thing is, as long as I'm attached to this old belief, or oh, I can only have results in social situations when I'm confident, as long as I hold on to this belief, I never allow myself to make new experiences where I um, focus on other things, for example, the authenticity, and still make it work. And if I don't gather new feedback, I can't create a new reality for myself. This was the quick learning from, from me, that you, whenever you're in a social situation and you might feel not super confident, um, that you don't have to force the confident, you, don't, you should not force the confident, but you should focus on what you can control. And this is the authenticity. I hope you liked the video, uh, and we will see each other in the next one.